All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabar Yahweh Duff from GMS Hawaii coming to you in another lesson. And this lesson is on this video that you about to see in front of you. Uh, <clears throat> it's entitled. Ghost in, the Ghost in the Machine, and it's a commercial for a army PSYOP group, the fourth PSYOP group, all right? And um, in, this, in this video, you're going to see how Esau uses psychological warfare against his enemies, and not just the so-called uh, enemy of these other nations, but chiefly for us, like somebody said in this comment right here, it says, when you realize the target they're referring to, and the video is you because Esau uses psyops against average everyday citizens man a lot of the things the violence the formulated violence that you see on TV a lot of that's psychological operation when you look at movies when you look at when you look at movies when you listen to music when you read literature a lot of the stuff that you're reading looking at and taking in is really a psychological operation placed upon you another thing that made me uh, uh, think about this even more is like um, when you go to the movies like I want to go see that Doctor Strange movie that came out that Marvel movie that came out and for no apparent reason at all they slipped in some LGBTQ plus uh, um, imagery in there for no reason at all there was no reason for it you know you know but they put it in and how that, what made me understand and realize it is because even in the movie theater, it was two Edomites in a movie theater. They they like blurted out, they laughed, they had a, a end moment where they like what that they were like they were like what the hell? Because there was no reason for it. But you got to understand that it's a psychological operation. You know, it's when you go to movies, the the average individual in America believes that he or she goes to the movies for entertainment purposes. But that's really a way for Esau to uh, uh, basically to program you to be down with his agenda. All right, real quick. This is uh, St. John chapter 8, verse 44. It's, I'll start at 43. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Because Yahweh Shai was speaking to his people. <clears throat> chiefly the rulers of the people. You know, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees that were coming at them and trying to contest the truth that he was bringing okay and if, and if they really had the spirit of the lord on them they could look through the scrolls and understand and see that yahweh shai was the messiah that was written about uh through the prophets man but they weren't concerned the these these people they weren't concerned with the prophecy they weren't concerned with the miracles all they were concerned with was was their uh positions and their roles that they had uh in the roman world at that time so it says why do you not understand my speech even because you cannot hear my word ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do right because their father who they were following that after was esau not yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right they were doing after the lust of the edomite whatever that's why they said we have one king and that uh that king uh, uh that king is caesar man so they all they all they could think about was the the um whatever he allowed them to do even going back to the greek era during the time of Ant antiochus man you had a lot of wicked israelites that had power within the nation that had you know regard within the nation that would basically deceive other israelites into going off into wickedness man so it says, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speak a lie, he speak of his own, for he is a liar and a father of it. Right, and that's right. Esau, he's a liar, and he's a father of lies, man. So much so that they have a, they have a group dedicated to lies, man. The four psychological operation group says the four psychological operation group is one of the united states army active military information support operations units along with 
eight psychological operation groups, which was activated on the 26th of August, 2011, at Fort Bragg. You know, here it is. They got they got groups called the uh, the Dark Horse. Uh, let me see what v Verbium Vincent means. Salakia, Salakia. Let me see what. Uh, so when you look up the the, the Latin word, uh, ver uh, Verbum Vincet, it says the word will conquer. And Esau believes that his lying words will conquer. Because before Esau goes into uh, any nation, and even while he's going into a nation that he's about to conquer, one of his major, one of his major forms of conquering in war is through his words, through his lies, through his deception. Through his psychological warfare they'll weaken the people's mind mainly the average citizen's mind that their government is through that their monarchy is through and they need to you know get on the side of the edomite because he's the one that's coming in with his military prowess and it just shows you that east esau's lies and his deception this is part of his war campaign the average regular joe Smo. He, all, when he thinks about the military, all you think about is the soldiers, the guns, the tanks, the bombs. But wait a minute. Esau has a huge investment in, in deception, man. So let me play this real quick. Let me play this real quick. It says right here, if your opponent is of a choleric temper... Seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak that he may grow arrogant. And that's what Esau does. That's why the scripture says, um, matter of fact, let me get that. What the scripture says in um second no Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron resteth, so is his wickedness, though he humble himself. And go crouching, yet take good heed, and beware of him. If thou shalt be unto him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. And that, that rust is that wickedness. Though he humble himself, and go crouching, yet take good heed. Like this says right here, it says, If your opponent is, is of a choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak. That he may grow arrogant. And that's what this devil does in, in the sight of you. Like a good example of that is um, uh, the Emperor or Senator Palpatine in the movie Star Wars, man. And uh, there's a scene where he's fighting uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Mace Windu. And um, he says, oh, oh, Mace Windu strikes him down. And then he acts like he's weak. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so weak. I'm so weak. I can't do anything. And then he turns the, the dark side on. He said, I am of limitless power. I have limitless power, man. And he destroyed Mace Windu, man. Or him and Darth Raider. But nonetheless, he'll pretend to be weak in front of you. But you got to take good heed of him, man. And our people, they think that they're free. You think that you're in a, you're in a state of freedom. Nah, man, we're... we're Enemies, we're behind enemy lines right now. Okay, we're we're actually prisoners of war right now. To this day. You know? And Esau uses psychological warfare on our people. Another thing going back to the reference of movies. In the early 90s, you see it in a lot of movies. Well shit, you can go back to the 70s during a time of so-called black exploitation films, which really those films they were bringing out. <clears throat> They wanted to deteriorate the minds of the youth. So what did they do? Everybody was a pimp. Everybody was a, a sexual deviant. Everybody was a drug dealer. Those kinds of movies were movies that were shown to our people to get into the minds of the young men and women of that era. And then in the 80s, you saw uh, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, um, movies that were pushed to the Edomites. Then in the 90s, what they what they do, they they to, to further deteriorate the minds of the so-called Negro and Latino Native American youth. What do they do? They brought out movies like Juice, 
uh, Menace of Society, Boys in the Hood, so-called reality movies that wasn't really the reality for a lot of people. But it became a reality because you had drugs, crack being pushed into the ghetto. Like a, it, there's a scene in a, the Boys in the Hood movie where the woman, she comes out, well, the kid is walking the street by itself and the mom's on crack and she turns into a crack whore. And they painted her up real nice. They actually had you believe that this woman, if you looked at her like, oh, she's on crack. She's a crackhead. You know, but that was all a psychological psyop against our people. Even when you see a lot of the uh, scripted violence on television, whether that be somebody doing something, some mayhem in a city near you, guess what? A lot of that shit is scripted. A lot of the things you see on TV is psychological warfare. And you don't understand it. You think that, oh, it's just something that happens. Or somebody might be enticed or induced to do something because of something they saw or read or heard. That's all a part of Esau's psyop, man. So it says, if your opponent is choleric of a choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak that he may be arrogant, that he may grow arrogant. And that's what our people are doing. You know, Esau acting like he weak. But, you, you know, you got Jake out here buying weapons. And you don't understand that Esau got all the weapons. You might got a couple of weapons, but Esau got all of them. And that's what he's going to use to overtake you. Let's keep on playing this. question was have you ever wondered who's pulling the strings man because there is a a, a dark government a, a black government <laughs> that's pulling the strings but how about Shai is pulling the strings of all of these people man but going back just kind of focusing on Esau he's like he, he's you, you ever wonder who's pulling the strings man well let's keep on playing it That's at world at a world in a world that's at war, you'll find them, Esau, in the shadows, lurking, playing games, doing doing witchcraft and, and mischief, man. Sowing with sowing deceit. This is um <clears throat> this is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse nine. It says, I'll start at uh eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, and that wicked that's being revealed is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, starting off with the super elite. You the ones that's in the shadows that's making all of this shit go awry, man. Okay, you're depleting nations of their resources. You're um, weakening nations by your armies, your military, your economics. You're doing that. And that's why Jay Rockefeller said the internet should have never existed. He was speaking at the cybersecurity conference, but he didn't give a damn about cybersecurity. It's because he's being revealed, man. You know? <clears throat> it says, and that and that and that and sh and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. 
with all power signs and lying wonders and deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, right? Because our people, they're going to believe the PSYOP. They're going to believe they're with the PSYOP, you know, especially when they introduce the MOTB on, on, a, on a mass scale. It's already here, but they're going to push it on a mass scale. But they're going to have, in order to bring it out, just like they did that juice, in order to bring it out, they had to have a whole PSYOP campaign. You heard about all these people that so-called perished. You know, they created monuments for so-called people that died. You know, they showed nothing but endless bodies being dragged out of houses and hospitals. Hospitals were so-called being overrun by the dead. Right? So they had to put people in, in refrigerated uh, 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 trailers. Some of the trailers, so-called refrigerators didn't work. So you just start smelling dead bodies. And out of the, out of the clear blue sky, here come the magic sauce. That was all a PSYOP campaign. 9-11. Another PSYOP campaign to what? To afford a war in the Middle East, man. To get Esau a foothold in the Middle East to just take what they want by any means necessary. You know? Yeah, that real threat that rises in the east is is yeah is Yahweh Shai. He threatens these these people, man, and that's why it's gonna be a psyop on uh on on UAPs, man. That's why they had that whole shit happen uh, last week in in Congress. They had a whole uh, uh, a congressional hearing or speaking on 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 or open hearing on on, on UAPs, man, because they're gonna create a psyop amongst that. They had you thinking that oh. Project Blue Bay. I'm gonna keep on playing. Look, it says warfare is evolving in all the world's a stage, man. So it's letting you know right there that a lot of this shit that you see in front of you, these are nothing but crisis actors, actors, people standing up perpetrating a fraud man hey you all see what happened in buffalo there is another very important phase of warfare it has as its target not the body but the mind of the enemy yeah it says it has nothing but not the body but the minds of the enemy and esau looks at us the israelites you negroes latinos native americans so-called they look at us as the, as the enemy, man, and they've been they've been enacting psychological war, warfare on us since we got here, man. Since we were taken over here. The target of psychological warfare is against the enemy's mind. It is words and ideas. The ammunition used by cyborg. Is it Esau said anything he touches? Is a weapon, man. Anything Esau touches, he said it. Let me rewind it. I mean, what they, they showed it in the writing. The enemy's mind. It is words and ideas. Ammunition used by Cyborg. Hey, real quick. This is Psalms, uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, was it Psalms? <clears throat> I think it's Psalms 56 and 5. Um, this is uh, Psalms 55 and 21. It says, "The words of his mouth were smoother, were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. The words, his words. Let me read it again. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart." His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. You know what I'm saying? Um, verse 20. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. He have broken his covenant, man. 
because Esau uses his words. His words are deception. He put forth his he put forth his hands against such that be at peace with him. So when anything we touch is a weapon, that's why you say anything we touch is a weapon. Esau is a devil, man. He's the master of deception, the master of disaster. Another scripture, real quick. This is um another scripture, real quick. This is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter twenty, verse uh, seven. And that, and when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So Esau uses his deception to deceive. He's a, he uses this he deceived the nations, man. And you're gonna see in this in this video, it tells you that they're one of their war one of their uh weapons is, is deception. That word for deceive. But shall go out and just and uh, deceive. The Greek word there is planao. It says to cause to stray, to lead astray. So when you get into somebody's mind, you cause them to go astray and wander and roam. To lead away from the truth. To lead into error. To deceive, man. So this man, he deceives on purpose, man. Let's go back to the video. the enemy soldier and at the same time is expected and encouraged to study foreign languages and the social sciences such as history you see that we can deceive persuade and change man and that's what this devil does that he starts these he foments these aggressions and countries and nations if he can do this to other nations would you think Esau got a hands-off policy on the average everyday American citizens no that's what, what you think BLM was all about. That was a psyop. To get into the minds, to rouse these people up, to get these people in a racial, a racial tension so high that they start bugging out, man. And then they pay these, these psychological warfare puppets, these crisis actors, millions upon millions of dollars. And while they walk off in the sunset as their nation is burning, because they don't care, they're all a part of the plan. But like the scripture says, when Esau don't have no use for you, he'll throw you away, man. That's why that I guarantee you that that Black Lives Matter bitch uh, at the top, hey, she's going to go to prison, man. They're going to find a way to bring up charges against this bitch, man. And she's going to be going to prison soon, man. Because he don't have no need for her no more. BLM is over. Comics and sociology. Its mission is to influence the thoughts of the enemy soldiers. And at the same time, is expected and encouraged to study foreign languages and the social sciences such as history, economics, and sociology. Yeah, it says we can deceive, we can de we can deceive, we can it says we can deceive, we can persuade, we can change, we can influence. And that's what that's all Esau does. His words is his weapons, man. Broad and sympathetic understanding of all phases of human experience. Inspire. At my skin, the walls of night close in. Oh. Of the use of this force as an integral part of combat has now taken on new form. Esau, he's the ghost in the machine, man. You know, and that, and this show you Esau's wickedness right here. This shows you this stuff right here. You know, 
let's go to some of these comments. When you realize that the target they're referring to is in a video is you, you already you are already controlled using sentences that start with when you do you speak and and then, you know they put up that's why when we do videos you get a lot of these bots that just pop up randomly on videos they'll block it you know it says right here, we are masters of deception also everything you don't like is misinformation lol raytheon minister of truth man yeah yeah those who are unaware they are walking in darkness and will never seek the light well psh, and that's two-thirds of our people you unaware of where you at what time you're in and that's why the scripture says uh darkness cover the world and the people are in gross darkness man okay side war and that's what's going on this psychological warfare is being waged on all you people and on all of us on all of us on the Israelites on these average Edomites and Moabites all you people are being uh, Esau is using PSYOP on, on everybody but he's been using it on our people since we got here psychological warfare okay so I just wanted to bring this out. I thought this would be very edifying. I hope you were edified with that one. See Shalom on to the next.